All right, guys, you will need the thumb drive that came with your laser. So we'll go ahead and plug it in. Pretty simple. So you double click on your software and you're going to have these um, zipped up files. So I just extracted them and I got them over here. And then we'll just drag this onto the desktop. And we're done. So remove the USB, plug in the wire now. Okay, so my video just turned off, but plug in the wire. And then you wanna make sure you are plugging it into the correct USB port. So you got the flash drive up here and you got the USB down there for the PC and they can go either way. So just make sure you're plugged into the correct one. All right, pretty simple. Next step will be to just run the software. So this will install the drivers for the USB drive. Install. Very little effort. Down here, all you gotta do is click install USB driver. Now this is where you wanna turn on your machine. Give it a few seconds so that the computer is ready to receive and send data. And you click okay. You just follow the direction basically and that was it. So you click okay, you click exit and that's it. So you can throw this into your trash can, you're done. Next step will be to download the Lightburn software. I will throw you this link right up here so you guys don't have to type it in yourselves. But uh, you just scroll down and you select the version that you wanna download I have a 64-bit, so I already downloaded it. Uh, no, not that one. Show downloads. There we go. So we'll double-click on Lightburn. Close everything else. Hit Run. Click Yes. There we go. I like to close stuff out so we can focus. Here we go. So click Next. Next. Create a desktop if you want. Next. Install. and we'll go ahead and launch it. So if this is the first time you're running it, you're gonna have your trial version. If you have your license key, just paste it right here, click activate and you're done. In my case, we're just gonna continue with the 30 day trial and you click okay. Now this is where the tricky part is. So as long as you're plugged in and you already got the USB drivers installed, you click find my laser and it will actually pull it from the computer here. So there it is, it took a few seconds. And then you got these two options here. I always install this one, so it works for me. Click add device, you can give it a name, I just leave it the way it is, click OK. Then this is where you select your home. So I chose the top right, so that would be considered the rear. So rear right, click next, click finish, and you click OK. And that's it. You are communicating, you're installed. Um, let's go ahead and do a quick test cut. We'll draw a circle. So I just happen to have some paper loaded up in there. And we'll do it somewhere like maybe here. And we will select our burning option here so I don't know 15% sounds good to me click OK and basically just hit start and it'll cut so let's go and there you go that easy if you guys found this useful, please consider liking, subscribing. If you have any other questions, you just let me know. Thanks for watching.